so it's time to do your taxes and you're probably fretting about it but honestly it's not that bad because uh you're having income and that's a good thing that's a good problem but let's figure out what we need to do to get these problems solved uh as far as filing these taxes now we're not going to go over how to file the taxes but we're going to go over uh all the information you need to gather and accumulate so that way you can actually properly file your taxes now let's go over a couple things first that you need to know before you start filing taxes so you comprehend what it is that you're actually filing and how you're going to get taxed on these taxable events as you know i'm not a financial specialist this is not financial advice by any means so i'm just a guy on youtube trying to help you out and show you what i'm going to be doing and this is just for educational purposes only that being said let's go into the video so the first thing i need to learn is what am i getting taxed on seriously like what am i getting taxed on the fact that i'm getting coins and then there's a little bit more to it so a taxable event first off is any action or transaction that may result in taxes owed to the government common examples of federal taxes event uh, events include Include receiving a payment of interest and dividends selling stock shares for a profit and exercising stock options okay so taxable event just means that there are events right where you can get taxed on certain transactions and for us it would mean these mining transactions whenever we receive those transactions into our wallet now there's going to be two taxable events uh, that we get hit with right so for one it's gonna be the day that we receive that cryptocurrency into our wallet now the next is when you actually sell and liquidate that position that holding that you had that coin you get taxed when you receive the coin and then you also get taxed as a gain or a loss when you sell that coin and turn it into cash into your wallet now whenever you receive the coin that is going to be categorized as income tax the second part that is going to be categorized as a capital gain or capital loss if you sold it below the price that you received it at now capital gain is the appreciation in the worth of a capital asset it's the net profit one gains from the sale of a capital asset so let's go over a few examples let's say you received a coin for 100 dollars. upon receiving that coin you get taxed on that 100 dollars. let's say you wait four months and then you sell it or you wait one day and you sell it the time difference doesn't matter right here all that matters is that you sold that coin if you sold the coin for $120, you now get taxed on the $20 difference for that transaction since there was a $20 gain per token. Now, conversely, let's say that you sell that token and it is worth now $80. That means that you lost $20 from receiving that token. So therefore, that is going to be considered a capital loss deduction but it is still put into the whole tax formula when you file those taxes now i will be having a much more in-depth video on taxes uh, regarding cryptocurrency and mining because we really stick to mining here so be on the lookout for that video it is going to be super in-depth and there's stuff that i talk about that no one really talks about and i'm surprised why i don't even know why people don't talk about this stuff but anyways moving on now let's take away some common misconceptions that you might hear so for example you might hear that you can add deductions of your expenses okay that is like a half truth yes if you operate as a business if you don't operate as a business then you don't qualify for those expenses because you're considered a hobby miner or just you know you're just you're just getting some side income again we'll talk more about that down the road because that is much more in depth but i think it's the way to go if you are a full-time miner or maybe in a part-time miner i mean but you can actually add in those expenses and that can potentially really help you out now let's start over let's say you received 100 as a token just like in the previous example but this time you sold the token or coin one year later you now don't have to get taxed so heavily on that return since you held it for a long period of time the difference that we just mentioned is the long-term and the short-term capital gains tax i will put more information on this in the description below because i think it's super important that you realize the difference and the key benefits that it can offer for you now it does have to be a year that is a time limit so if you're expecting that one year long-term capital gains tax then make sure that you actually held it for a year. Okay, so everything we'll be talking about is kind of theoretical. So now for you to actually take the action and file this, you have to gather all that data. Now it'd be ridiculous for you to sit there and just write out all of those transactions that came in and out of your account. And honestly, just, yeah, I'd probably go crazy. But um, what we can do is use a tool. Now when you go to uh, explore.qdm.com, click on tools, and you should be uh, prompted with this little menu on the left. So if you scroll down and you click on Helium Tax, it'll take you to this website. What we're looking for here is just this information here. What you're gonna do here is it's gonna download you a CSV file. CSV is standing for comma separated values, 
which is ideal when you're dealing with accounting and financing paperwork. Now they mentioned here what you're gonna see on the two columns, but it says number one, it shows you the time of the reward. Two, it's gonna show you the reward in the US dollar amount as given by h and Oracle Price at the time of the re of reward. Now it says enter your hotspot account wallet address, right, you can find it here. So here's what we're gonna do this. We're gonna go to the actual export tab, click on the uh, hex, click on the minor uh, itself and then click on this little thing right here this is actually what we use as well for our helium bot so if you're uh, looking to connect to our helium bot this is the address that you use to uh, run and operate the bot so once you click on this it's going to uh, copy it to your dashboard we're going to go back to the helium tax tab and then we're going to go ahead and click this right there now just click the year that you want to uh, import those taxes from let's say you never file those taxes and you have losses for whatever reason i don't know why that would happen but you can click on all and just download all that data all right click on do some taxes once you do that it'll show you the transactions that you have uh and then the income that you've actually made right then you can actually look at that once you've downloaded it and it'll tell you here so this is the most recent and then this is the oldest so this is the 31st and the 29th of december of 2021 uh so for example this hotspot came online was only online for a couple of days and as you see here it gives you the h and t received and then it gives you the usd value now it does also mention the price that you received that token at so this is all the information that is compiled and requested from the irs so you can actually uh send and probably file your tax now obviously that piece of information does not show you uh, when you actually sold for fiat currency or traded for a different currency uh, so you're gonna have to include those transactions from your exchange on a separate note uh, so you're gonna have to figure out how to put those together. You don't have to mesh them on top but You just have to keep those two files together probably labeled, you know uh, Income transactions and blah blah blah, right? But that's something you can figure out with your tax account uh, with your CPA with your tax advisor I'm not that guy. I'm just telling you what files you need to put together. So before you go though, it is important to note that uh, Making a transfer from one wallet to another is not a taxable event i'll drop links down below for references look it up on irs tokentax.co um, but they all tell you that it is not uh a taxable event because it is still in your possession so uh, for those of you who are worried about you transferring you're like oh man am i gonna get taxed on that but i still hold it no you're not because it's still in your possession you haven't actually liquidated that position now comment down below if you want more of this tax related crypto mining business stuff now for those of you who are asking you know what constitutes as a, as a business what do you mean by business it means something legally formed an entity formed for the purpose of or the trade of that business now i wasn't reading anything but i'm telling you <laughs> that's what it is it's it's something that's specifically designed as an entity legally wise uh for you to come you know for you to make those uh transactions those those demands those investments those deductions uh that you need to file so that would be an llc s corp c corp um non-profit which i don't think that would even be the case here but whatever so in this channel we like to take the real world approach here and how to create this income from cryptocurrency as far as mining and probably staking now too we're going to jump into a lot of staking but uh, a little bit of controversial topic is um i've seen a lot of readings Talking about how mining is going to be heavily taxed compared to staking, right? I mean, we already get taxed on the minings, but a little bit of a dispute going on that staking is obviously friendlier for the environment, you know, debatable depending on how you look at it. But yes, uh, comment down below your thoughts, but uh, you might get some kind of incentive on staking cryptocurrency. So that is going to be super sick to find out. I mean, 2022 uh, is really just opening up the doorway for tons and tons of questions, really. And excitement because if you're staking and it becomes you know we get some kind of tax advantage for it that is awesome so if you're interested in something like that stick around hit the like and subscribe button if you appreciate any kind of content like this and i'll see you guys in the next video